What up? I found a fellow Leica boy. Apparently, Hola. I'm a, look, a Leica boy now, according to everybody on <laughs> in the internet. Uh, my man, Willie, right here. Willie, tell, tell him who you are. Uh, I'm Willie Velasquez. Uh, I grew up in Corona, so we're starting off here. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm bad at this part. No, like no, that's fine, that's fine. We're in Corona. This is where he's from. Born and raised out here. He knows the spots. A lot of people out here, a lot of color, and a whole lot of food. This is probably going to be my favorite episode ever, and we haven't even shot it. I haven't eaten a thing, so... Let's go get food first, and then we'll start doing some laps around the streets, do some street photography. I got the Leica Digital right here. He's got an M6, he's killing it. And yeah, I got one more camera in my bag. That one's a secret. It's not a secret, but I'll show you later. All right, let's go get some food, because I'm fucking starving. All right, starving. let's do it. Well, you know, this Corona, we're going to start off here, I guess. Yeah. And we're going to go down Roosevelt, underneath the 7 line. Yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah. cross into different neighborhoods, and at the same time, different ethnicities. Yeah. So it's going to be great. Uh, tour of the world out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, it's the world's baby. borough. Uh, gotta, you're being smart. I'm trying to pace it. I'm not smart. No. <laughs> I got to catch a deal. We'll see. I'll leave that up to you. Would you like anything else? No, that's it. Thank that's you. That's good. Started that. So my boy Rex and Steven, they're part of the NYC one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we were hanging out, getting fucked up and shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, it was like, we turned the boys real quick, and we're like, yeah, let's, let's make a queen screw. There's no queen screw. Um, and yeah, so what we've been doing for like the last year or so, you know, we'll do little walks. Yeah, yeah. 20, 30 people just walking through here, or yeah. Astoria, or whatever, wherever we can, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big, it's a big area. Oh, is that me? Yeah, gracias. Haha, it's food time, baby. Let's do it. I gotta get a photo of my man right here. The good problem is this fucking camera goes to sleep. Oh, it does? And then it takes like a good like two, three seconds to like get his shit together. Oh, nah, you just turned me off. No. So right, I, I tried taking a photo there and I, and I didn't I didn't feel the shutter. I was like, fuck! <laughs> I know I know everybody here, but I don't. Quick minute there. You know everybody, but you don't know anybody. Uh, hey, sorry, can I use that chair? Take that. Oh. Camera. Look at that. So. What do you got? Taco al pastor? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm gonna fucking... Uh. There you go. That's how you know my man eats. He went for the jalapeno first. It's gonna hurt. What I got here? Oh, look at that. I got a little Mexican quesadilla with fresh corn tortilla. Al pastor. A lot of Oaxaca cheese in there. Oh, no. That's, uh, that's not the Oaxaca cheese. That's the cotija cheese. And, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm fucking hyped. All right. What do you happen to have here? A little green and a little red. Willie, I must say I'm impressed that you uh, only got a taco. You're, you're a man of, uh, of restraint and character Wait, or restraint or anything. I'm just a fucking glutton, baby. No, <laughs> I'm not here. You know what? It's just that. I know we're going to eat a lot today. God damn, I shouldn't have bit that that quick. <laughs> I know we're going to eat a lot today. And I worked out last night to make room. Um, but realistically, I'm not going to have time tonight. So little by little. So we walk, burn it <laughs> off, eat. All right, here's the first bite of this giant quesadilla. You ready for this? Ready? This is delicious. I got shit all over my face, bud. I'm waiting for a jalapeno to like chill for a second. <laughs> this is exactly what I remember. The fresh uh, tortilla makes the whole dish. It really does. The meat's delicious. It's fatty too. I like fatty al pastor. Mm -hmm. Nice little mix of fat and uh, and actual meat. Yeah, I mean this is great. Oh, I feel so bad, but so good. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel bad at all. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I literally leave the house to shoot. I don't eat till I come back or till I end it. That makes sense. I mean, I guess you're in the zone. No, it's just that. I don't want to get full and lazy, <laughs> or even worse, try and find a public bathroom. Fair enough. I don't want to use a public bathroom. You know what? Street photography is good exercise, though. Mm -hmm. Especially on those good days where you're out for five, six hours. Dude, if it wasn't for street photography, I'd be like so much bigger by now. <laughs> uh, you know, photography is good for your health. Maybe not for your bank account, but it's good for your health. Oh. And uh, this food is worth it. Ground is sacrifice suspicion. Rap, rap, uh.
So that quesadilla was incredible. Fantastic way to start the day. Um, we can't leave yet because I know there's a lady over that's making tamales. And I haven't had a tamale in I don't even know how long, honestly. You're going for it, huh? I have to, I have to. I got, I, again, I fasted until today. Since yesterday at 6.30 p.m. was my last meal. So it's been a long fast. Um, I'm ready to eat. But yeah, let's get a tamale and then we can start cruising around the neighborhood. All right, cool. Let's do it. Do it. I mean, this ain't Dominican music, but the, the rhythm hits, you know? Yeah. You have rhythm, you got rhythm no matter where you go. Picante. Deme el rabo con pollo. Por favor. Uno, uno solo. All right, so we made that quick stop, like I said, to get a tamal. This was $1.50, by the way. Inflation hasn't hit this yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the keto tamal is how juicy the dough is, because this is corn. If you make it whack, it comes out a little dry, but this one is looking real moist. I'm gonna dance that cumbia here. Uh -huh. Damn, that looks so good. So I got a chicken and cheese one. Here you go, look at that. It's very humble, very simple food. But the simplest foods are the hardest ones to make, you know what I'm saying? You should. Uh huh. So uh, the raja is the very popular <laughs> one. All right, that's enough eating. It's not enough eating, but we're going to stop eating for now. We're going to start walking around, and hopefully we get some good shots. I've been sneaking shots already, left and right. I don't know if you've seen in the video a little bit, but I'll show you a couple of shots right here. Just trying to be very unassuming, and it's pretty easy to be incognito with this thing. It's not loud. It's just sometimes I get caught red-handed, just like going like this at somebody. But I'm shooting a lot like this with the thumb. Oh, Set yeah. My shutter speed to 250. Hip shots. Let the camera do the rest. All day. All right, let's go. We don't see that a lot. Like, I mean, I know there's, you know, there's some photo books and pharmacies that I've seen <laughs> from Queens, but like as far as street photography, uh, we just weren't seeing a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, aside from, you know, at the time, protests that were going on. Sure, but, sure. Um, and that's not to say that there's not other people shooting queens. There are, and I'm yeah, yeah. sure there's more than I know of. Um, but, you know, we're aggressively doing it. Um, the, the whole point was we just didn't see this area. We didn't see exactly. a lot of it, you know? There's a beauty in, 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 in showcasing your own home, especially from your own eyes. Before somebody else comes here that's not from here and does it, you know? Hey, that's my fault. I'm bringing everybody here, but, you know, that's cool, man. Like, you <laughs> that, know. That is cool, but, like, it, it would be fair to the area if the people who are from there also didn't have a chance to put it out there, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, that's what's going on in Manhattan all the time, you know? <laughs> like, it's everybody from everywhere else. Hey, nobody's up in Washington Heights, though. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, you're hereby invited to Washington Heights, you hear me? I'm going to Washington I've Heights. I've been wanting to do a Washington Heights episode, but I'm saving it for the right time. And I think for me, the right time's gonna be next year in the summer. Yeah. But we got the yeah. food, we got the people, and, you know, you're an honorary Dominican, as you said, so you yes. gotta come through. <laughs> yes. The music out here be here, and I'm telling you. Yeah, this is what mean, you don't see in London. Ain't nobody playing music in the streets, but out here, <laughs> shit. And this is a street vendor, you know, street vendor capital. Exactly. You know, um, so I mean, you walk one block, you're probably passing like five vendors, yeah, you know, yeah, selling yeah. all different kinds of food or toys for the kids or, you know. Shapewear. Yeah. For me. <laughs> <laughs> 600, it's not bad. That's gonna be the best photo I took all day right there. That one? The little kid staring at his little jewel thing. Uh, don't call it just yet. I know. <laughs> Still early. Uh, I would I, I would love to have your eyes right now. You know, seeing everything for the first time. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, you know, that's kind of what the camera does for me. Of course. So, you know, I walked this all my life, but when I picked up a camera is when I really started seeing it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because you're constantly yeah. walking around looking for photos and you start noticing all the little things exactly. that are everywhere, the weird things, uh, like, you know, you got mannequins and fucking shirts. I, I noticed those mannequins too. And I the mannequins are everywhere. The yeah, mannequins, yeah. They're, they're, they're like, you know. They're the best models in this whole neighborhood. They're, they're part of the neighborhood. There you go. Like, they're, they're, they're their own people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh we've got a fight happening. 
street vendor in a van. That's New York right there. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yes. You got cigarettes? No? Okay. I don't smoke, so I don't know. I don't know. I love this Everywhere I've gone so far, they have no cigarettes. It's hurting me. I'll find them. How do you hold your Leica when you're shooting portrait? Uh, I do oh, that. Oh, wow. You go like this. It's actually easier on the arm. But then I gotta, like, get down. I mean, yeah. You know, I feel like this makes sense. Uh, to be honest, I, I barely I barely do it. I feel like I'm doing everything wrong with this camera. Nah, no, you're fine. I just put out a video today, and I can't wait to hear people like, you're holding the camera wrong. Because I was doing this a lot, and then I was like, oh, I'm supposed to free this eye, you know? So then I stuck going like this. And I was like, you know, fuck everybody. I don't hey, care. Exactly. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck them all. You pay for it, you use exactly. it how you want to. <laughs> I swear to God, they don't fucking got it here. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. <laughs> Man's gonna lose his shit if he can't get. Dude, started. this has never happened. <laughs> how many? How many places have we hit already? Yo, like five. Five stores don't have cigarettes. Five. That shit is crazy. <laughs> Somebody get uh, at least a Lucy. Come they, on. They can't have beer and not. Uh. <laughs> hey. I don't know. It doesn't look good for him. Can I see our heels? He's looking around. Okay. Oh, no, back at the oh, 400. Maybe. It looks like he found some Where cigarettes. Where the lamp went? The hammer's stuck with him now. Is he coming back? No, he's got cigarettes. He's getting money out. Yeah, they've got cigarettes. I'm happy for him because he was getting stressed out. No, no. <laughs> Boy, it, 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 we're shooting against the sun. Gotcha. By the time we hit 80 second, we come back. That sun is gonna be That's coming through the uh, tracks. Really nice. You got really nice lighting once the sun starts coming down, going that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A great way to spend today, though. I will say. It's the I beauty of street soccer. If you don't like, you don't have shit to do. Yeah. And the weather's like not fucking piss raining. It's always, it's always the time to go outside. Man. I had a kid like give me a whole thing about that, like. Like, yeah, I see a lot of photos and, you know, I, I just don't like mediocre shots or anything. A couple days later, I'm, on, I'm scrolling through Instagram. He posts up a fucking photo of a garbage bag that's in the air. I'm like, is this fucking American Beauty? <laughs> like, oh, these this are your fucking standards. A fucking garbage bag floating around in the air. All right, cool. about photography. If you, if you want the smoke, you better come correct with some good yeah, photos. Because, like, if you're out here talking a lot of gangster shit and your photos are, like, Either non-existent because you don't actually go out and take photos or they suck. You lose all credibility. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. care how many degrees you got. I don't care what. Oh, yeah. That doesn't matter. <laughs> it is what it is. I meet people with degrees and they work under this person and that yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look at their photos and it's like, really? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Oh yeah, this is a gordita de chicharrón, pork skin, and it's very hot, but I have to eat it when it's hot. This, this is going to be a fucking shit show. Hopefully I don't get the Leica, oh man. Don't worry about your Leica, it's made, it's made a battle that. Alright, this is what we're going to do, we're going to slide it to the front, and then, okay, here we go. Like pizza, there you go. Fucking love it. It's very pork skinny. It's like smoky. <laughs> it's interesting because everything else is so fresh, but the pork skin is so like meaty and crunchy. The, tor the, the gordita is so fresh, though. That's the best part. <laughs> it's a hard life. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You do it with finesse, my man. Está buenísima. La masa me encanta. Está muy suave. You still recording? <laughs> this is a warm up. That's a warm up.
That camera's like one of the fastest to load. Yeah. That's what's one of the best perks about it. <laughs> it's a construction site all week, but during the weekend, it's a market. This is a store. This is new age like Macy's right here. We got everything you could ever. Let's see if we can find any cameras. You think they got a camera around here? Somewhere? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, flushing though. If you go flushing, yeah, the street markets, you will find them. This is cool though. It's like a little interesting. It's a great use of the of the landscape. You know. Uh huh. You don't need to you just hang everything on here. It's great. I like this. I've never actually seen something like this before. Surprisingly enough. How about? Guess who's there? He he's, he's don't know what just happened. It's okay. He don't need to. <laughs> no, that's that, that's one thing I've never done. What? It's flash people directly. Oh, uh, you got to. I feel like that's the next level for me to explore with street photography. Yeah. We're going to an institution in this neighborhood, that restaurant you see back there, Jardin de China. Garden of China, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Sort of like that? That's why you bring your, you know, your first girlfriend and you're trying to splurge you a little. You know, you got your allowance up, that's where you go. And it's great because it's it's like Latino, specifically Dominican, I think, but also Chinese food cooked by Chinese people. It's this big mix. I think it's like the most, the most quaint things you're going to find almost, yeah. in many senses. I mean, so. if, you, if you grew up here, like, you've gone there. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah. what it is there. And uh, it's, it makes you smile knowing that you're going oh, there. He's you know? got to tear up inside yeah, of Yeah, no, I'm having to go there. Instead, a little I, haven't, here. I haven't gone there since, I think, like, uh, <laughs> February last year. Oh, wow. February, after one of our walks. Yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty happy to go back. It's, it's, a, a, it's a rite of passage at this point. Let's do it. Look at this smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to get. Me neither. Oh, Salud. Salud. <laughs> this is probably gonna be so bad, but like whatever. <laughs> My man ordered wine in the Chinese Latino spot. That's how I do it. I like. <laughs> I like a little. Wait, like, tell him what you were asking for before the wine, though. I was asking for whiskey. I was well, asking what kind for some of whiskey? Jameson. Some Jameson. So you, you know, usually before I eat, I like a little bit of alcohol. Yeah, like yeah. if it's gonna be a big meal, I don't know. It just comes down so right, much it puts better. You in the mood. This really sucks, but like <laughs> it's gonna do the job. He's a man of fine tastes. Drinking the wine in the mm -hmm. Chinese Dominican spot. <laughs> this is as fancy as it used to be for me. You know? This, uh, what's it called? Like, like eighth grade version of you would have been so proud right oh, now. Oh, yeah, no. Eighth grade version of me wouldn't have been able to get away with this. Maybe maybe uh, tenth grade because I already had a beard by then. <laughs> no, fair enough. You had to buy the booze. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Wow. There you go. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Isn't that the best feeling when you come out the bathroom and you're fucking food's already there? Yeah. <laughs> it makes it, it easy. Wow. Life is very easy when you don't have to work hard for your food. Wow, this is awesome. All right, so let's talk through this real quick. Yeah, let me get that. Here you go. <laughs> so this is the beauty of eating okay. here. We got fried rice, mm -hmm. very you know classic takeout Chinese. We've got. Platano Maduro, sweet plantains. This is that This is that good Dominican, you know. Well, not Dominican only, but I'm going to claim it because, you know, I'm here. And then here, this is really interesting because this is, they called it a Creole sauce, but this gives me, like, sweet and sour kind of chili sauce vibes, which is not something you get in Latino food usually. Maybe in Peruvian cuisine, that's it. But here, we've got the mix. And then you've got fried rice and french fries. Yeah, like, that's all it takes. This is the classic plate. This is what I always get That's here. That's how you survive out in these streets. Yeah, this gives you everything you need. Your carbs, your protein, more carbs. You know? We got one more plate. It's even more interesting. We've got fried rice again. Classic. We've got sesame chicken. And then we've got totones. Like this is unique. You're not going to find this in China. You're not going to find this in DR. But you're going to find it in New York. Here in Corona. Maybe in Washington Heights too. Maybe, yeah. So you can get some I feel like you can get it over there too. This is amazing. And this took like five minutes to come out and it's hot and fresh. Literally five minutes. This is dope. 
this is what it's all about. Let's dig in and see what the deal is. All right, I'm gonna do a quick taste here. I'm just gonna soak up a little shrimp in this liquid. Everything I said earlier is exactly what's happening here. Sweet and sour meets chili sauce. It's really good. It's interesting. I've never really had this combination, but mixed with that fried rice, it's gonna be delicious. Oh, speaking of the fried rice. Oh, fuck. Come on. Now I can't eat properly because I'm on tape. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna finish this plate. I'll get back to you in a second. I can just imagine coming here as like a middle schooler. Just feasting on this giant plate of food. I'm pretty sure I came here for Thanksgiving once. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is incredible. That's like the Jews on Christmas. Wow. Uh, they go to the Chinese place. Um, so I want to ask you, now that you've been contemplating hanging out with us, we see we saw this neighborhood how it is right now, but you see it change, you know, 30 years? I don't know how old you are, but... 34. Yeah, so I'm just curious, like, what do you think is the next thing that's going to happen here? What, what, how, how is this place going to evolve? And maybe, like, is it bad? Is it good? Like... What do you think's happening here? I don't know. I mean, in Jackson Heights, you're starting to see a lot of little, uh, like what we saw earlier, like that weird new little shop. So you're starting oh, to see it. But like, yeah, yeah. I want to say when it comes to Corona, yeah, it's it's very resistant against those things. Yeah. I don't see that. Cha the change is really slow here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. this place has been here forever, probably longer than me. Um, and you know, now you got a Burger King yeah. up here. And I think you got a Burger King in Corona Plaza where we were at, which was fucking nuts to us. But there was a McDonald's there for a while. But, like, what I'm saying is Corona is the slowest progressing neighborhood as far as, like, the franchises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, I'm okay with that. And I think, we, I think we all are okay with it. So yeah. It's not like, you know, Whole Foods came through here. That opens up a whole different demographic. Yeah, whole Foods will not come here. Yeah, no, and that's a, that's a marvelous thing. Yeah, it's a great you know, that's one of the classic New York things. You see a Whole Foods on the corner, it's like, uh-oh. Yeah. It's a clock's ticking. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, it's, 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 it's not happening here. <laughs> not anytime soon. If there's a Whole Foods that opens up within the next five years here, yeah. I'd be very, surprised. very, very surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because there's a lot of supermarkets. Exactly. You know, it, people would resist that. <laughs> they wouldn't shop there. No, people would resist that, like, like, especially, you know, the businesses, you know, so there's a lot of businesses in Manhattan. It's people from the outer boroughs yeah, yeah, yeah. that come and work in those businesses. Where here, the businesses are probably filled with people that live around here too. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, I I don't know what the next thing is as far as like, you know, uh, what's the term I'm looking? What happened in Brooklyn? Gentrification. Gentrification. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. It's what Brooklyn's known for now. <laughs> it used to be known for so much worse. Now it's known for gentrification. <laughs> I don't see that happening here anytime yeah. soon. If it's happening. It's happening in Jackson Heights, but very little by little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's a good thing, though. That 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 means you've got a long runway here. Yeah, I mean, Astoria's gentrified as fuck. They yeah, slapped yeah, that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. But <laughs> here, I don't know, man. It's it's too brown here, man. It's, it's too, too Spanish. There we go. It's too Spanish here. It's no, like no. more power to them because that yeah. that's the thing. If the people that live here resist it, that goes a long way. And you know, not everybody here can get paid by check. And that's the honest truth. Yeah. Um, and I'm okay with that because it's, yeah. you know, it keeps me connected to my roots. And that's why I love shooting around here because it's just like, it, everything reminds me of when, I, I'm, I'm super nostalgic. I'm yeah, over yeah, nostalgic, yeah, yeah. but everything around this area always reminds me of my childhood. This play, like I was telling you earlier, when we, every Sunday when I was a child, like that's what, I, this is what I would have. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Colombian coffee, you know, I started drinking that when I was 12. Um, so yeah, everything here seems to be stuck in a slower time. Yeah. yeah. Like and that's that. cool. Ooh. Got my after dinner, man. <laughs> You're a man of habit. Um, I think our time today has come to an end. Um, I'm really excited to see what photos I got, zone focusing. And I'm very excited to see what photos you got because you're shooting film all day. Me too. I have no idea what's there. I, I never know. We'll find <laughs> out. We'll find out. Next episode. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for coming. Well, not coming through. I came through, but 
Thank you, you showed for me around your hood. This is great. Hey, Tom, hope you enjoy. Corona's food. dope. I'm definitely coming back because yeah, there's a whole yeah. lot of food that needs to go in here. Body built by Corona. That's what's going to be. Right here. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all at the next episode. We out. Peace. Not for nothing, the wine did the trick though. It's shitty wine because between this and the food, I feel high. Like, I didn't smoke yet, but I feel. <laughs> Can I get another one? <laughs> Puppy. Get this some wine. Puppy. Can I have more wine? Otro más. Otro más. Otro más. Otro más.